What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, we have the Battle of the Decades, a baseball bat from 1970, 1980, 1990, the 2000s, and the modern day BB Core era. Let's get it. All right, folks, we got quite the smattering of baseball bats, all the way from 50 freaking years ago. Some of the first metal bats that have ever been made, the 1970s bats. We have the blue and silver Easton. I believe it was called the B5. These are actually drop twos, so both 33, 31s. The Worth Tennessee Thumper drop two. And then only one bat from the 80s, folks, because we have the iconic Easton B5, the Bo Jackson Special, and then maybe the favorite, folks, the 1990s bats, the last uncertified era ever of metal baseball bats. First, we have the Reflex C-Core. So these move to drop fives. This is actually a 2021 remake, exact same specs as the 1999 Easton Z2K. Some people say this bat was responsible for the first ever restricted era, the Beesers. So we have an early one, I believe a 2003 or 2004, the Omaha Gold from TPX. So that's a one piece alloy. And then y'all know it. The Beaser, Orange Stealth Com from 2008. And then lastly, the Fun Suckers, the BB Core Bats. We have the Voodoo One, the people's favorite, and then a composite bat. So very modern technology, the Rawlings Icon right here. And we got Exit Veal here with the Rap Soto to see what is the best bat era ever. All right, so we're starting out with the 1970s bats, just metal pipes right here, drop twos. And to keep it even, man, these had grubby old grips on them. Uh, we have a Vulcan grip, a, a one millimeter grip on all these bats. So that's not a factor at all. All right, Cam, early prediction. Who you got? Orange still. So you have the Beesers winning. Got the Beesers. Uh, I've got 90s personally. So that's why I wore the Griffies today. All right, world premiere of a bat from 50 years ago. I hope this doesn't just kill my hands. It's good. Oh, did you hear that? That was kind of hot. 98. 98. We're at 98 already? Okay, baby. That felt good. It didn't even freaking hurt. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No way. Get out of here. Oh, I'm talking about freaking rude. What? 1970s. Who would have thunk? What was that, 96? 96. 96. 360? I got this off of eBay for probably $30. Oh my God. What? What? I can't believe that. This thing is actually good. Well, for some reason, the Worth Tennessee Thumper makes me a little more nervous. This definitely seems a lot more like just the metal pipe, so. That's the coolest name I've ever heard, though. Oh. Derek, dude, what is going on? It's, they're amazing. 104. 104. The Thumper. Oh, wow. That sounds so that sick. Crazy. Oh my God. All right. 104 max with the 1970s bats. All right. We are moving on to the 1980s with the Green East and the B5. So this is actually two ounces lighter. This is a drop four. See ya. Dude, it is throwing me cookies right now. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Oh. This one does sting. I thought it would. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was killed. This is the best round of my life. Our new leader at 105. I think it might just get better from here. All right. This is where it's going to get crazy, and I just don't want to damage any property. We have the Drop 5, the 1990s bats, also known as the Gorilla Era, 3328, the Easton Reflex C405 C Core. Oh. I swear, I, that was a pop-up. That might have cleared the entire building. <laughs> oh my God. I, I'm gonna get so beat, it's not even funny. You're right. 97, 447 feet. <laughs> Who got to use these? This is our new leader. I guess we'll do one, we'll try to get a good velo. Oh. 
That's over the trees, bro. What? Our new leader, and we gotta try the Z2K. So allegedly, this is the same thing as the old school one. That's a bad swing, but that's 110. Oh, 113, okay. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. I, I'm telling you, like, I could have broken 110 easy with those two. All right, we are moving on to the first ever restricted era of baseball bats, the Beesers. We'll start out with the alloy Beeser. This should be a little less hot uh, than those 90s bats. This is now a drop three, so a 33-30. I don't know. That's still pretty good. 107. 107. Oh my gosh. It's still just it's still just fire. Oh wow. Yeah. That's it so hard. 111. Oh my gosh. 111. Hold on. I didn't get as quality of a hit with this. One more. I know it has more in the tank. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. All our baseballs are gone. 111, 484 feet. We're tied. 484. <laughs> what the hell? That's a cheat code. I'm speechless. All right, so we're tied at 111 with Beaser in the 90s. We're going to see if the legendary Beaser can break that tie. Oh, just missed. That's hit so hard, bro. Oh my, what is that? 107. 107, oh my gosh, dude. It's not as hot as I thought it would be. Oh. Oh, wow. That's it. Hit the light. Oh, that's it. That's our record. 109, 345 feet. That's perfect. Perfect, bro. 90s is in the lead. For the first time on video, we're gonna take a step down. <laughs> we have BB Core, the lame, no fun, unjuiced, nerfed bats. We got the Voodoo one right here, one piece alloy, 400 bucks too, man. Dude, that freaking stings like the 80s bat. Yeah, that's hit really hard. There we go. 106. Okay, one more with this, then we'll go Icon. Perfect, perfect. Come on. Dude, that's gonna be close. Five. Okay, so 106 with BB Core. All right, now we got the best composite bat in the game for BB Core, the Rawlings Icon, $500. Oh, wow. That's freaking killed. Hands a little bit. Roof. Holy yeah. smokes. Yeah. There it is, baby. Come on. Icon, what you got? Seven. Oh, 107. We have our finalists. The 90s bat versus the 2000s beasters. Start with the stealth comp. There oh. it is. Wow. Come on. 107. The stealth comp may be the biggest disappointment so far. And maybe the, the best sleeper is the Omaha Gold. Oh. Yes. Hit the light. Dude, that is so freaking gone. Wow. 110. 55 feet. All right. 112 would win it for the C-Core Reflex. Nineteen nineties with the win. <laughs> Let's freaking go. One fourteen. I knew it makes sense. It was the last uncertified like that. Stuck at 450 club. Yeah. That's a bomb. 458. 458, yeah. 
That's tight. All right, all you folks that graduated in the late 90s, you have the hottest bats, but you also had the most help. And freaking honorable mention to this thing. That was every bit as good as a BB core bat and it's 50 years old. And I've heard a lot of you 90s guys talk about the TPX air attack right here. I got one, it was a tiny bit cracked and I tried to take some swings on it to get a feel for it to see how it would hold up. But boom, boom, boom. And there's just a giant flat spot right there. This thing absolutely collapsed. It was super hot. It's just got kind of razor blades sticking out of it now. All right, so the worst bats, I think, were probably the BB cores. It was either these or the 70s bats. They, they were about the same. So unrestricted aluminum bats from 50 years ago are as hot as what high school and college kids have to use today. Then this bat was sick. We have the 80s bats. It, it's just kind of a natural progression from here. Uh, the B5 fire, that lighter swing weight definitely helps. And then I know people are gonna be disappointed about this. The stealth caved did not do as well as we thought it would do. The Omaha though carried the Beaser era, the 2000s, really, really hot. These bats are good, but the only reason these exist is because the 90s bats were too good. The last era of unrestricted, just as hot as you can make them bats, especially the C405 from Easton, the C-Core, the, the Red Line, the Reflex Extended, the Z2K, those bats were best it gets. Here's a closer look, drop five, fatty barrel, the 1990s, the hottest era of baseball bats ever. Are you okay? Yes. 